Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. And honor be to the name of the living God. Pleasant good morning to you this morning, all our viewers. Wherever you are now, please join me to give thanks to the one that wants and needs to come. The only wise God, the wisdom of the wise, the beauty of the beautiful, the strength unto the strong. Can we please lift him up together and worship him this morning for his faithfulness, for his doings in our lives, for where we are, for where we are coming from, for the glorious future that is ahead of us. Brethren, we must thank God for year 2017 since it began. We are in the fifth month of the year. I want us to look back this morning and return all the glory to the maker and the giver of life for January, for February, for March, for the month of April, for this month of May, let's exhort him. Let's worship him. It's worthy. To be exhorted, excuse me. It's worthy. To be magnified. There is none only as a God. There is none that can be compared to him. Lord, you are faithful. Faithful, faithful. Glorious is you, O oh God. You are glorious in holiness. The Lord of fearful in praises. The Lord that is always doing wonders. Let somebody shout hallelujah unto him. Ha, let us tell him that our hallelujah belongs unto him. We give you praise. We give you praise. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are worthy to be praised, Hanadon. So we lift up holy hands. He won a cut. Singing, blessed be the name. Hallelujah, oh, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's sing it one more time. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands in one accord. Singing, blessed be the name. Hallelujah. Oh. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thanks, thanks, we give you thanks for all you have done. We are so blessed, <laughs> our souls at one rest, oh, oh Lord. We give you thanks. Ah, go ahead and just worship him. You are the Lord. That, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. You are the Lord. That is your name. Oh, yes. You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. You are the Lord. That is your name. You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. You are the Lord. 
That is your name. You are the reason where I'm pure. You are the reason I'm happy. You are the source of my joy. You are the reason I'm happy. Oh, Jehovah needs you. You are the reason I'm happy. Oh, eh, Shaddai, you are the reason I'm happy. Oh. You are the fountain of my joy. You are the fountain of my joy. You are the fountain of my joy. You are the fountain of my joy, Jehovah Shalom. You are the fountain of my joy. You are the fountain of my joy. Wherever you are, just lift him and express your heart of gratitude to the one who owns the heaven and the earth. The Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah Jairi, Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Shama. Oh, go ahead and just worship Jehovah Elohim. Unto him be all the all the glory. I am that I am. His name is sufficient for all situations. It's beautiful for all situations. Is the joy of the whole heart. Hallelujah. Thank God for the miracle. I was sleeping and waking. He took you to bed last night. Thank God he has brought you back to a new life. It's the dawn of a new era. This is a new day. This is the day that the Lord has made. You will rejoice and you will be glad in it. Appreciate God. Give him all the glory. Oh, the arrow, the enemy. Just last night, God did not allow them to prosper in your life. Oh, they shot the arrow. But the arrow didn't prosper. Give God all the praise. He returned the evil arrows back to the senders. Exalt God. Magnify Him. Worship Him for building the edge of fire around you. Ah, give Him glory this morning. He's worthy to be exalted. He's worthy to be magnified. Oh, worship Him. Lift Him up. That is why you are called Jehovah. That is why, that is why you are called Jehovah. Oh. What you say you will do, that is what you will do. That is why you are called Jehovah. Oh. Jehovah Nisi, that is why you are called Jehovah. Oh. That is why, that is why you are called Jehovah. What you said you will do, that is what you will do. That is why you are called Jehovah. The light in darkness, the way maker, the rain maker. It is in you, Lord. We live, we move, and we have our beam. Our rock, our fortress, our refuge, our strong tower, our healer, our provider, our deliverer, our all in all, the ancient of days, the body bearer, the rivers of the living water, the chief corner saw himself, son of David, the root of Jesse, wonderful, counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, <laughs> the prince of peace, we worship you, the king of glory, the lord of hosts, we give you thanks, the lily of the valley, the lion of the tribe of Judah, rose of Sharon, the bright morning star, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Omnipotent, the Omniscient, the Prime Minister to all Prime Ministers, the President of all Presidents, the Governor of all Governors, the Pastor to Pastors, the Bishop to Bishops, unto you glory, unto you be all the honor. You reign and rule in the affairs of men. We worship you. We thank you. 
You are the alpha. You are the omega. You are the beginning. You are the ending. You are the first and the last. You are the alpha and the omega. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. You know the end of a thing from the beginning of the year of. You are the God in January. You are God in February. You are the Lord strong and mighty in the month of March. You are the sons of our flowing rivers in the month of April. You are the one that has brought us into the fifth month. You will forever be when the heaven and the earth pass away. Unto you be glory. Unto you be honor. Thank you for a new day. Thank you for a new month. We exhort you. We thank you. The arrow of the enemy came. You did not allow them to prosper. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you for this nation, Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you for what you are doing in our time. Thank you for all our political leaders. Thank you for the body of Christ in this nation. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all the Bible-believing churches. We thank you, God, for Tobago Inspirational Network. Thank you for what you are doing in our time through this platform. Thank you for all the board, the management and staff. Thank you for all the true ministers of God too, that have been coming through this medium to declare your cancer. We, we, we refuse to take it for granted. All the glory, all the honor, accept our aid for me now. Wherever you are, just wave your, your hands unto the Lord. And let's give the Lord a, a, a wave offering. Just wave unto him. It's worthy. Worthy to be magnified. Thank you, Lord. This morning, minister to us. Take us from glory to glory and from honor to honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Hallelujah. I want to quickly read from the book of Ephesians, chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. And I want to start reading from verse 7 and see what the Bible says. That, or maybe from verse 6, and that raised us up together and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For by grace, are ye saved through faith, and are not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. <laughs> Verse 9. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Hallelujah. Do we want to thank God for the month of May? May is the fifth month of the year. Um, number five. It's a number of grace. Five is a number of grace. I, I, I want to thank God for the riches of his grace, which is an unmerited favor, which speaks about the love of God. This grace speaks about the kindness of God. The grace of God is deep, it's amazing, it's frightening, and it's also equally speaks about God's glory. So by our standard, the word grace is more deeper than what eyes can imagine. And you see, one of the things that makes grace does is that it qualifies the unqualified. Because grace also speaks in form of, of favor. And, and that's what I want to declare upon your life. That as you go in this month of grace, May the amazing grace of God separate you from every form of disgrace and shame. Someone hearing me at this hour, in this month of grace, the Lord will turn your disgrace to an amazing grace. <laughs> the Lord will lift you up. He just told us this is Ephesians chapter 2. There is a riches in his grace, the riches of his grace. We are saved by grace, not of ourselves. And I want to encourage you as you go this month, please 
do not frustrate the grace of God. It's free. Salvation is free through grace. But know for sure somebody paid for it. So I want to be conscious of the grace of God upon your life as you go in this month of May. If the grace has yet to speak for the salvation of your soul, and you are hearing me this morning, how can you make a conscious decision to give your life to Christ? Say, Lord, I want to be born again. I'm tired of sin. I'm tired of living the life on my own. Jesus, take over. Come and be the Lord in my life. Not only my Savior. Be the Lord and my Savior. And God begins to grant you a new beginnings. And if you have given your life to him before, but you know you have backslided. You slide back. Let the grace of God in this fifth month of the year bring you back to a reconciliation. Come back home. And the Lord will accept as a prodigal son and prodigal daughter. And a new beginning will be given unto you. The third category of people that the grace of God must work for them is those that are still standing. I want you to keep on standing. And ask for the grace of God to keep you to the very end. If the grace sustains. The grace of God encourages. So please continue to tap into the source of the grace of God. And that grace will always be available for you. Let someone say, I receive it now. Say one more time, I receive it now. May the grace of God never be withdrawn from our lives in Jesus' name. Now, let, let's quickly go uh, and take some few prayer points this morning. Number one prayer point you are going to pray is to look, go back to the night. Just came back from deep night. I don't know what happened over the night, but what I know is that by the power of the night, oftentimes things happening around our life and destinies that are basically beyond our control. And that's why I want you to be mindful of that this morning as we pray the first prayer point. That, that the Almighty God will go into the foundation of today. The foundation of today was last night. And I, you don't know. I don't know what the enemy came. And so, in the foundation of today, before the sun rises, it is reasonable that we ask God to go to the foundation of today, which is last night, and search for whatever that is not of God, and ask God to uproot. It is written, every plan my father has not planned, it shall be what? It shall be uprooted. So you are going to raise up your voice wherever you are this morning. And you are going to say, my father, my father. Can be louder. Say one more time. My father, my father. I decree and I declare upon the foundation of today, you last night, whatever is not of God in you, that is meant to destroy my joy on this very faithful day. I remove those things now. I uproot them now. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Begin to declare now. Father, I stand in this place of prayer this morning to decree and I declare whatever is not of you that have been planted in my life, in my destiny. Why I was asleep last night, I command now, before the sun rises, let the evil seed be uprooted. Huh. This woman listening, pray that prayer. This man hearing me, pray that prayer. Pray with all your heart. Whatever is not of God that have been planted into your life, into your destiny, while you were asleep last night, speak unto the Lord. Lord, uproot them. Lord, remove them. The evil seed must not grow. The evil seed must not germinate. I decree in the name of Jesus, let the evil plan be uprooted. Don't forget that you have been ordained to uproot, to destroy. Ah, open your mouth and begin to, to pray now, to put down every stronghold, every evil imagination, empowering evil from my dream last night, from my sleep last night. I decree now, 
Let the song go be put down. Somebody pray that prayer. Let the evil song go. Let it be put down. Let it collapse. It shall no longer stand in my life. You better pray. Open your mouth and cry unto the Lord. It's too early to be weak. It's too early to be tired. Command your morning by starting from your night. Lord, the enemy that came and saw tears in the midst of my wits, the Lord arrest you this morning. The Lord caught you this morning. You are your evil seed. Let the evil arrow return in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to decree. Now. Reject all those evils. Cancel them. You must speak out by your mouth. So this morning, I stand in this place of prayer in agreement with the faith of everyone hearing me at this time that whatever is not of God that have been planted in your life and destiny while you were asleep last night, oh, I decree now that the evil seed will not grow. The evil plant be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and pray the prayer in another way like this. And say, Father, every evil business that have been transacted, ah, transferred. Lord, while I was asleep last night, I command the evil business begin to suffer loss. Ah, ah, suffer loss. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh, the aim of every businessman or businesswoman or any entrepreneur is to maximize profit. You are going to declare this morning. The evil entrepreneur that I've been assigning to my life, doing one business or the other, I decree to you and your transaction, begin to suffer loss. Ah, concerning my life, begin to suffer loss. Concerning my family, begin to suffer loss. Concerning my ministry, you better pray this prayer. Pray it loud and clear. Let the enemy begin to suffer loss. Stagnation will be their portion, my God. Setback will be the portion of my adversary. Open your mouth and begin to pray. No more will the enemy make profit concerning my life and destiny. Somebody pray that prayer. No more, no more, no more. The season of making profits are concerning my life from the evil businesses are hereby over. It's over. You principalities, you power assigned, you rulers of darkness, you spiritual weakness in high places that have been using my dream life. Oh, to punish me. Ah, to punish me. I decree your time is over. Please pray this prayer. It's a warfare prayer. If you don't arrest them, they will arrest you. If you don't mock them, they mock you. Mock your mockers. Block your blockers. Arrest your arresters. You better pursue your pursuers. It is too early to be weak. Oh, declare, declare, declare. It is well. It is well with you. For upon this day, in the name of Jesus, it's the dawn of a new day. It's the dawn of a new era. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Your next prayer point is going for you to release the grace of God upon today. That is a working grace. It worked for the people of the hood. Brethren, is still at work in our time. We must tap into it this morning. I say, Father, whatever grace that is at work in the life of our Lord Jesus Christ, I release into my life this morning as I go out. I will not walk in disgrace, but rather I shall walk in the amazing grace of God. Are you ready to pray that prayer? So you are going to say loud and clear, Oh God of grace, as I go out this morning, let the same grace that is at work in our Lord Jesus Christ, let it be released upon my life now. Open your mouth and turn into prayer. Turn into prayer. Ah, that grace that is at work in the life of our Lord Jesus Christ, I declare this morning, Lord, let it be at work in my life. When the grace of God is at work, obedience becomes an necessity. To obey God, won't be, it won't be a task. It won't be a problem. To your commitment, your consecration to the things of God 
will no longer be queried. When the grace of God is at work, somebody pray for this and say, Father, it is your grace I need this morning. Not disgrace. Ah, in place of disgrace, let the amazing grace of God, let it take over, take over, take over, take over. Lord, pour your grace afresh upon my life. This is a new month. This is a new day. You will not be disgraced. You will not be pulled down. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. What do you want God to do today? He's a God that is strong and mighty. The loss of us is his name. I want you to open your mouth and begin to reject now. Every tragedy, uh, every misfortune that have been attached to a day like this from the pit of air, I will not be your victim. You better pray that prayer. Say, I am not your victim. My children are not your victim. My spouse is not your victim. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The church of God is not your victim. My career is not your victim. My earth, it won't be your victim. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My finances is misspeared from the tragedies of the day. Oh, my destiny in Christ is secure today. I will prosper today. I will make it. The hand of God is upon me. Somebody pray that prayer. Prophesy upon your life now. Say, today I shall be lifted. Today I shall be highly favored. Somebody pray that prayer. No river struggle to flow. Today I will not struggle. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Stars are naturally created to shine. My Father, my God, I will shine today. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Declare open doors, open doors, open doors of greatness, of lifting, of prosperity, of earth, of righteousness, of holiness. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Whatever you want now, begin to command. The Lord, I will receive good news today. Lord, my eyes will be all oh, pleasant surprises. We are evils are waiting. Before I get there, the evil disappear. Somebody pray that prayer. Cover the road with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Soak your family in the blood of the Lamb. He said, when I shall see the blood, the angel of death will pass over you. Open your mind. You bear the mark of God today. Lord, I bear your mark. No enemy must trouble me. My children bear your mark today. No enemy must trouble them. My wife bear your mark today. No enemy must trouble her. Open your mouth and begin to pray. They clear now. Go in his grace this morning. Possess your possession. Be lifted. Well, that I complain about a casting down. You will be celebrating a lifting. You will serve God to the very end. You are coming out from that sickness. You are coming out from that depth. Be encouraged and blessed. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit.